here at the North Texas Irish Festival, and you might be asking, why are there DeLoreans here at the Irish Festival? That's because the DeLorean was made in Belfast, Ireland. It's an Irish car. <laughs> Oh man, I wish you could smell what I'm smelling out here. The smell of uh, the funnel cakes, uh, all the roasted corn, the beef cooking, the stew, Guinness tents over there. A lot of green eyed girls and red hair. We got the fire down below, you know what I'm saying. Wow, these are my people. So, uh, came back to Dallas, all the way from Las Vegas uh, for the North Texas Irish Festival. Be with my buddy, Chef Joey. You know, Chef Joey's the one that made the Mosley steak uh, in honor of me over at the mountain and um, doing some other things, you know, check it up on my, my properties and my guys and stuff, but you know, these are my people. This is, uh, this is who I really am. People are always asking me if I'm, you know, Asian or they think I'm some other kind of ethnic thing because I do this Fu Manchu, but really, I'm a ginger. I actually had a red beard before I started dyeing it black, but I started dyeing it black because it turned white. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you know, like I said, I'm more Scottish origin, but hey, Irish Festival just as cool with me. Let's go check out some of the cool stuff in here and the vendors and things. And uh, we'll take a look at what's interesting at the North Texas Irish Festival. Come with me. I'm gonna find a lot of uh, animals here. It's got these Irish wolfhounds and Scottish terriers, uh, a lot of different things like that. Um, a lot of green, of course. A lot of performer stages. I think there's like 13 different stages. It's pretty cool. A lot of food, a lot of beer, a lot of whiskey. There'll be a little wee bit of whiskey tasting going on today. Hell yeah. Let's get some cookies in me too. I'm getting a little hungry. I'm gonna see a tremendous amount of art going on here. A lot of this stuff is stuff that you find at regular flea markets and fairs, but a lot of it is, a lot of things you're gonna see like at Renaissance fairs and things. Um, a little bit of everything. This is, this is a big, 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 big place. So they spread out. So yeah, if you remember the video I did when I was in uh, Manchester in Scotland, uh, we talked a little bit about my name. My name is Robert Capers Mosley Jr. And um, I don't know why my middle name is Capers. Just like the, uh, the, you know, the garnish. So it's just my name. I don't know why, but that's what it is. All right, look at all this beer. I don't drink beer, but I'll take a drink of that. I had a fat dragon. Drink, drink your mead out of a horn. Ah, nice hats. The kind of hats that I've always worn when you see me wear a hat. Uh, you know why? Nice sweaters. I'm not going to need any sweaters in Vegas right now. The, this is very similar to the Mosley Tartan, actually. Um, I'd have to, you know, every, every name has their own one. I don't like that my tartan is blue. I would rather it was red. But you got to take what you can get. Of course, the traditional Irish dancing is so much fun to watch. This is a great uh, dance to learn if you don't have any arms. It's always interesting to watch some of the Irish dancing. It's interesting. There's just an insane amount of vendors out here. You're going to find uh, silver. Incense, um, clothing, ooh, Irish bread, so good. Um, a lot of soaps, a lot of uh, you know things that have to do with uh, lore, you know, dragons and this kind of thing. A lot of cosplayers, obviously. The same people that are interested in cosplay usually are the same people that are into red fairs, um, steampunk. I have actually some outfits like these. I've some shrine outfits. Um, you know, it's just your head is spinning when you walk through here because there's so much. I've been coming here, I don't know, 20 years, and a lot of the same vendors are usually here. Everywhere you go, there's music. Uh, you know, every hundred feet, there's another stage of music playing. Oh my God, it's so. so Okay, so uh, how do I even explain Cindy? Cindy, hey. now you worked for in radio for like 20, 
30? How long? You don't want to say. For, forever, but at the Eagle in Dallas for 27 years. K-E-G-L, the Eagle, now. But I'm not there anymore. Not there anymore, but interesting. Now, now obviously, you remember this. It was probably like 93, 94. I became the Eagle Santa. <laughs> yeah. Remember, I was the Eagle Santa? We've forgotten this. I was the Santa Claus for the radio station. We tried to forget. We tried to forget. <laughs> but uh, I've told some other cool stories. I, I was telling the story about how we got to meet Kirk Hammett. Remember, he signed my guitar. Oh, Everybody yeah, was so yeah, jealous. Yeah. And I stuck you in. You remember that? Yeah, she stuck me in. I stuck him in. He was so not going into that backstage, yeah, yeah. and I got you in. So my wife, Rachel, helps. used to help you with your business, Skull Soap. Yeah. So you make all this make soap yourself. Yeah. I'm going to show some of the soap. Okay, show, show us some of the... What what would what would uh, the average Joe be interested in here that you do? Okay. Well, I'll do a quick explanation. These are all sugar scrubs. You're going to use those in the shower to uh, exfoliate. I like sugar. And yes, and are they made of sugar? Yeah, that's sugar mixed with ten different oils, and basically what? it's going to super moisturize and exfoliate your skin. It's really great. I need that. All these lotions are so silky smooth and not greasy. They sink in, last through hand. I noticed you have a They're theme basic. with the name though, like Gryffindor. Yeah, we do a tribute to Harry Potter, see? I see that. Tribute to Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, we're Harry Potter freaks. Yes. And yeah, we'll, we'll be at the cons. This is like fudge. Yes, this is a, a lotion bar. You use it in the shower. A so lotion bar? I never heard of it. Instead of uh, getting out and putting lotion on, you can just use this in the shower. I put see. it on. I need that. It's great. And you can take this on a carry-on on the plane. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Nice. But yeah. This fun stuff. We, we also have some body wash. You need to start doing some Vegas soap that's made of weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hot. coming next. My new fragrance, weed. Yeah, <laughs> that is basically the smell of Vegas now. You just walk around. Dedicated and smell to video Bob. Weed. I don't even smoke weed. I don't even like weed. But, but the whole town smells like weed. You walk around, you just smell it. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's that's an inspiration. Thank you. <laughs> uh, have you have Come to Vegas, you gotta hit us up. I will. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. There's well they have, it's just gonna be like a soap convention or something, right? You know, if there's a con there, well, I can do all. the con. I, I can come to Fan Expo. Uh, you Fan Expo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have stuff like that. Matter of fact, I think this weekend they had they were having a fanboy expo that I missed. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll that'd be here. perfect for you. And now now that I'm not working a full time job, I don't want to Yeah, no more getting up early and talking on the radio. They can sleep in like I do. That's it. Skull soap. Uh, dot com. Yeah, so sorry for the little commercial. That's my friend Cindy. I've known her for gosh darn almost 30 years. Anyway, famous radio station DJ here. Everybody who lives in Dallas, Texas has listened to the Eagle and listened to Cindy Skull. And she does the soap. It is so busy here. It's so crowded. It's crazy. Now, if you, uh, are, if you are of Celtic origin, you could come here and find your clan. The Donalds, the Murrays. Clan McTavish, Clan Stuart. So, you know, depending on what your name is, could be that uh, your people are here. And um, you never know, there's a Henderson over here, come around the corner. McLellan, McDuff, McIntyre. They usually don't have Mosley, Mosley's more English. Scottish American Military Society. House of Gordon. A lot of these guys are already, they're, they're out getting drunk. They're like, you know what? Been sitting around here all day. Ready for some whiskey. Crawford. So anyway, it's kind of cool, you know. A little ancestry, if that's your gig. Do a little uh, face painting. Some balloon art. Get you have yourself a uh, Feinstein. Candles. It's kind of winding down, you know. This is like towards the end of the night. I'm just kind of roaming around, and uh, I'm sort of on an outbuilding too. I, I was, it was getting too crowded over where I was at. I had to go find another spot. The cool art. A lot of the stuff you find is like the regular fair stuff, rent fair stuff. Um, so there's something for everybody, you know, multiculturally. It's just fun. You know, it's like, you just walk around with these in Texas. 39 bucks for a sword. Nobody cares. All right, yeah. It's so windy out here. 
I don't know how Irish this is, but I'm gonna eat it. Well guys, I think I've seen everything here about three or four times. A little bit of a smaller show. This was the first return after the vid. So if you're ever, if you live in Dallas or you're visiting during March, come out to see the North Texas Irish Festival. And see some of my peoples. You don't have to be Irish or Scottish or Celtic. Just come enjoy the food and the fun and the music and the shopping. It'll be a lot bigger next year. Things are getting back to normal again, thank goodness. I gotta get back to Las Vegas. But hey, I just wanted to share this with you guys. You see what we're doing over here in Texas. Catch you guys later on Video Bob. Mm -hmm.